Okay, almost left you behind here. I wanted to do just the trunk right now, but I wanted to take you with me. So that's what we'll do. I've used on the roof, burnt sienna, a touch of just a touch of ultramarine blue and white, just to knock down the uh, the chroma a little bit. We're going to win this area with value, you know, there's a high chroma here, but other than that it's going to have to be value. We're going to lighten the lines in the water a little bit, uh, and probably add one or two. Not, we're not going to worry about it right now, we're just going to focus on the trunk here. So I'm just going with straight burnt sienna right now. Laying in the lighter stuff. Don't want to get too fussy, don't want to lay in too many lines. But I'd like to establish something of a, of a design in here because, you know, old trees, they have such character, they have, they have much more design than the young ones do. And the rest of the trees on the, on the painting are secondary. Now let's go to now let's go to uh, a little bit of we're going again to a little bit of uh, alizarin crimson no yes alizarin crimson burnt sienna and ultramarine blue that'll take down that it won't compete with the chroma but it will give some variety to the color in the tree. I'll keep the values lower on this color. And let's just slice those in. Kind of gently. Bit of a dirty purple. A bit of a dirty purple. It's okay. It's where washing is so nice you can just leave some bare canvas. Because it's so dark it's established already. It's established where your colors stop and where they start. Just a touch of burnt sienna again here. I think we can. I think we can thicken this little area. Same there, you know, giving it some roundness. So we have this root heading off, you know, as it goes into the ground off in that direction. This one is forward, it's catching a little more sun. And let's give it some shape. Help with the 3D appearance a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. We're going to go towards more ultramarine blue, uh, ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson. Keeping our values low. Keeping our values, keeping our values quite low actually. Trying to keep the tree interesting. Not mixing a big pile, only mixing enough for a couple of strokes at a time. Let's get that little 
branch in there as well. Now that's that's not going to have a lot of attention paid to it, so we can keep that little value as well. But we'll add just a hint of light on top. Okay. There. Now, back to our back side at the bottom. Again, back to ultramarine blue and the lizard and crimson. Oops. I actually put easily a slice in there, and I don't want to slice the canvas. This knife is well used, which means it's very sharp. Don't want to do that. That's a no-no. Okay. To bring us down to the bottom. Okay. Now we're going ultra, still more ultramarine blue, still more lizard and crimson. A little bit of white. Define the back side of this tree with some little bit little bit of a higher value. Okay, add a little more ultramarine blue to that. Using, you know, see, so kind of using the same colors but changing them slightly as we work our way through it. I may mute those those blues a little bit, but for the moment we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, now back to some more burnt sienna and this time a touch of alizarin and crimson added to that burnt sienna and maybe a touch of white I want to be careful with that, not too much It's the shady side of that root that's sticking out. Outside the lines there a little bit, which I'm not too worried about. I can I can fix. 
fix that as I go if I need to, if it needs it. I don't want to, every time I go outside the line, uh, reintroduce a line. Some places I will want that, some places I won't. If I get too persnickety, it tightens the painting up. We don't want to tighten the painting up. Okay, those two shots of blue. That's a bit too blue. We'll go with ultramarine blue and Blizzard and Crimson again. Giving the trunk some a little bit of upward motion. Okay. Now up here we'll take it down a notch because it's under the canopy of the of the foliage of the top of the tree. So we need to just bring it down a little bit. Keep that excitement a little bit lower. I'm using a little dirtier color now. If I were just to go with with um, uh, alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue against the sky on the tree, even if I kept the values much darker than the sky, those two would be very close. So I'm just adding a hint of burnt sienna to dirty it up. under here is all obviously going to be very shaded. I'll leave that a bit vague for now because because I can. We're going to go back to these colors again, a little bit lower in value. And I'm even going to add just a hint of ultramarine blue so that it brings the chroma down a little bit as well. That branch is heading that way and this way, so we'll bear that in mind as far as how we paint it. How we lay those strokes on. I don't want to raise the value on that branch too high because we're adjacent to a very similar color with high value. So let's not do that because we'll lose our strength. Okay, that'll do. So you'll see some of the stroke some of the strokes I'm going in the direction of the trunk, some I'm going across, just a few. 
to offset, to give variety. I think we can do a bit of that there. I think we can do a bit of that there. Okay. This branch is coming towards us and off to the left. So I need to bear that in mind as I'm painting it. Ultramarine blue, just a touch, just a touch, and unburnt sienna. Some of these strokes are real wrist twisters. Just trying to paint a plausible way in which this branch comes out of the trunk. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. variety even there. Okay. Reassert that line a little bit. Don't always have to, but sometimes I think it's a good idea. Sometimes it is a good idea.
that could use a little higher value. Okay. This is not so important. I don't want to lay in heavier lines here. Actually, there is one spot that I would like to give a little more credence to, and that is this last bit of the trunk. Okay, that might be good enough. What do I mean? What do I mean? Good enough? That might be perfect. So now what we're going to do is take a step back, and oh, I'm going to holler hello at my wife in a minute, I think, and wipe the paint off my hand, because who needs extra paint on their hand? It's supposed to be on the canvas. All right, and then. Let me just step up. Let me just take a step back and have a look. Yeah, that's coming into itself. That's looking fairly sculpted now. I like that. But what we do need are a few accents. I don't mean I don't mean cultural accents. I don't mean like, you know, now I'm going to speak Dutch. I just mean Light. Sorry. Sorry. I... It, well, if you're familiar with the channel, you know I'm always saying stupid things, so I don't feel too bad. But it's too light. We don't need more. We don't need more up here. I think we'll maybe just touch. This a little more strongly. Oops. Too strong. Too strong. Too, too, too strong. Okay. Give the knife, give the knife a wipe. That is in the right direction. Let me add a little bit of, let me add a little bit of whatever that's called. Alizarin and crimson to my, to my uh, burnt sienna mix. Too much, too long, too long a line. It's okay, we run the knife over it once, twice, and it's already lost some strength, so that's fine. That's too strong. That is just too strong. Back to a lizard and crimson we go. Nope, back to mostly um, burnt sienna we go. See, I had a very dark line separating these two, and I, I think we'll just join them. I think that's the best way to deal with it. I've got a lot of shadow side showing. I want a little more light, light side showing. That's why I'm doing this. And I started it with purple because if I started with too high a too high a chroma or value right from the get-go, it's very difficult to tone it down again after that.
Okay, time to step back. <coughs> I may have it close enough um, so that I do not need to touch it anymore. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a fine looking trunk. This might be, this line between here and there, maybe I should fade it a little bit, maybe, maybe, just a bit. Yeah, broken up. That's good. Not faded. Broken up. Okay, we'll uh, square off the camera and do a zoomy. Not like a cat does a zoomy, but you know, it's something. Whoops! I always do things backwards. Why do it right the first time when you can do it twice? Okay. Here's some close up of the mess. So that you can see what I can see when we're working up close. See, so you have a variety of colors even. Yeah, I'm zoomed in now, but they will appear a little more subtle once the rest of the painting is in place. Okay, that's pretty muscular looking trunk. I like it. The rest will be less important. A little more insipid. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a good day.